Hello guys and welcome back to the shop. Um, welcome to a very wet and windy West Cork. Uh, this is the weather that we're uh, dealing with today. Storm Dora hit last night and most of the country's out of power but we're still up and running which is great. Um, anyway, today's little project is we're going to use some scrap plywood to make a jig for making the perfect dados using a hand router, a palm router. And I've got these special uh, router bits here where the bearing is on the mid shank and then it's the shank, then the bearing, and then the cutter. Um, I'll show you that in a second there. You're probably going to get to see that up there somewhere on the video there. Um, so, yeah, so let's crack on. So I've got these uh, these star knobs here but they're a little bit too long so I'm just going to cut them down with a hacksaw and a great little tip that that's the maximum length that I want up to this second bolt and if you have these two bolts on the act as a lock nut and then you cut away this piece to give me the overall length that I need and then as you wind these off if there's any damage to the threads the, the nuts will recut the thread for you While I've still got the nuts on, so I'll just use this fire <coughs> just to dress the end. There you go, and they've recut that now, so the bolt should now just go. Straight back on again. Makes threading a little bit easier. Okay, so the shank on the screws that we've just cut is 6mm. I've got a 6.5mm drill bit in my drill press here. And I'm just going to cut two um, drill holes on both of these short pieces because I want a little bit of free play in them. For a lot of long pieces, <coughs> I've marked centre and it's an inch there and I'm going to drill <coughs> an 8mm hole and I'm going to insert these little threaded um, screws into these pieces of wood there So final assembly on this is dead simple. One at each end, through there, and they then screw in. So I have um, a piece of three quarter inch ply. And I'm going to set the the, the 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 width now on the jig. And um, this now. It works by clamping in opposite directions. So you've got to put pressure on it up to make it nice and tight. If you don't get that pressure forwards and backwards, your cut's going to be a little bit too loose. all of those right there that should be a nice fit so now so we've got this piece of board here um, and this is going to be our 
say a, a bookshelf or something that we're going to make. And let's see what I have. Our first day though starts in there coming this way. I'm going to put that near the edge of my book, near to my table. So I can clamp it down in a minute. Actually, clamp it there. That'll be fine. And then using that line I've just made, I'll just line the inside up with my jig. Like so. Let me test that for square. She's pretty good. Happy with that. And actually, I'm just going to bring this jig here a little bit. I need to make sure I've got enough room when I put the router through. There's enough room down here with the base. So, let's just reposition that again. And clamp our piece down to it on the top. me over the storm again. So, <coughs> excuse me. So we've got our router, we've got a blade in and actually I'm gonna bring them up just a little bit just so there's enough of the bearing showing and we'll tighten that down. We'll make it we'll make it in a couple of patches. Plug it in, we're ready to go with that. We've got our air probe, we've got our iPro, and we've got our Hoover. Hopefully the Hoover won't come out this time. Right, let's keep it the video going and we'll see how that went. So there's our cut, nice and clean. Super square, we get our donor piece. Remember this is going to be the shelf. We'll put that in. And that is a super tight dado. Fantastic. Works a treat. Uh, so that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, that worked really well. I was really happy with the result. Um, I think one modification I'm going to make, because she is fairly long, is I'm going to make some more holes in these pieces. I'll probably do three more so that if I'm doing a shorter piece, I can have the clamp close to the width of the board and that will stop any potential flexing. Um, which may occur. Uh, but overall, with some scrappy supply wood, that's going to make routing uh, dados a lot easier. So yeah, I'm really happy with the results on that one. I hope you enjoyed watching along, and I will see you guys on the next one. Take care and goodbye. Oh.